What is going on guys? This is the facial hair and it's finally begun. The video that everyone has been waiting for, the my setup, my rig, whatever you want to call it, tutorial and uh walk through. So uh fasten your seatbelt and let's get started. Now, we're first going to begin with the front or I guess you want to say top panel IO. We have the power button, reset switch to USB 3.0 and to USB 2.0. Um, now, my case is the Corsair 760T and we see here the three front uh, expansion bays here with the top designated for a CD-ROM drive, which I currently have installed but I'm not using. Coming down, we see my front uh, fan grill, which I know is a little dusty. That's going to be a theme. I didn't take the time to dust beforehand because I wanted to see, I wanted you guys to see it in its natural state. Now, talking about the front grill, we'll pop it out here and you'll see my two front 140s. Both are red LED fans and you'll notice that they do look a little bit different. The top is an airflow fan because it pushes out into the main rig and the bottom is a static pressure fan so it can move the air over the hard drives. They're both also set as intake fans. Coming up to the top, we see here my three 120 airflow exhaust fans. All the fans in this case are from Corsair and uh, these will be upgraded soon to 140s whenever I get around to it. But uh, these are also red LED fans, and these are the only fans set as exhaust fans for my machine because of the exhaust path that I have, which I will discuss in a later part of this video. But it's basically all set to top exhaust, with there being seven total case fans for this machine. Moving on to the back, you can see me in the uh, reflection there. This is a frosted uh, rear pane for all the cable management on the back. Um, and it is, yep, see there's me waving. And it is, in fact, a beautiful look. And as you can see, this thing gets very dirty very quick. And I'm not going to open it because my cable management is atrocious. Coming to the rear of the case, we have a top mount removable panel. Bit of a pain to remove, but it's set in such a way to where you can run the piping if you want a top mounted uh, radiator or such. Um, moving on down to the uh, fan here, I have a rear mounted, uh, and I know this is kind of strange for some people, a rear mounted intake fan. It's a 140 millimeter case fan, a little bit dusty again. And it's there to suck in the cold air for uh, the CPU cooler that I'll show you in a little bit, my, uh, my EVO 212. On the side, you'll see also the rear I.O. for my motherboard. And you may be wondering why there's no I.O. shield. Um, I bought the motherboard on sale, and unfortunately it was a return, which means that it didn't have an I.O. shield. Moving on down, you will see uh, my massive amount of expansion bay slots. Um, all these are the PCI, uh, expansion slots, and you will see the rear for my, uh, graphics card. Here also is my 750 watt power supply. Obviously the case isn't plugged in right now, so I can get all around it for the surrounding shots, but I love this power supply. Now for the money part, the thing everyone cares about, that is the front, uh, see-through plexi. As you can see, it's operated by door handle style, and it opens up, making this case a breeze to work with and build in. Um, you can see all my lovely components. You see the amazing cable management done not just by me, but by a good friend of mine, Graphic Panda, who's been on this channel before and may soon rejoin me depending on his schedule. Uh, here you will see the uh, three and a half. Um, uh, no, not three and a half. I forgot the measurement for the expansion base, actually. Wow, that's bad of me. But that is my super cheapo uh, generic disk drive there my optical drive it's not plugged in because i rarely ever use it but it is always good to have one available so moving on to the um next part here you see my 16 gigs of crucial ballistic um i don't want to get into discussion about quad channel i know uh i could benefit from it but for right now having just straight 16 gigs of uh dual channel ddr3 at 1800 megahertz is more than powerful enough for me as well, you'll also see, like I mentioned before, my Cooler Master Evo 212 with two AF 120s mounted on it. These will be changed out to SPs uh, whenever I get a chance, but for right now, they are pulling more than enough air, and it is set in a uh, push-pull configuration to pull 
uh, the cold air from the 140 that's right by it over the processor through the tower and then up through the top exhaust vents. Under it is my uh, Core i7-4790K uh, from Intel and mated um, at and mated to my MSI Gaming 5 motherboard and clocked at about 4.6 the last time I checked. Um, and uh, moving on down, you will see here the inside with my 750-watt uh, EVGA Supernova. Nice up-close shot there. I really like this power supply. I have it flipped so it sucks air in from the bottom, and it's not uh, contributing and it's, uh, to the overall inside temperature. And it is a semi-modular power supply, which makes things a lot uh, easier. I would have loved to have a full modular, but I couldn't beat the price on the power supply. And you will also see my bottom-mounted AF120 to suck cold air in from the bottom, because as anybody that went through high school physics knows, cold air sinks, hot air rises. Um, as well, I have an accessory light for kicks because I thought it looked cool and I have my three drives here my My three platter drives. Um, I have a Toshiba uh, two terabyte a Western digital green one terabyte and a Seagate Barracuda three terabyte as my games drive and now we have here the coup de gras the baby the thing that everyone wants to see the graphics card. This is my single GTX 970 uh with from gigabyte with the wind force triple fan cooler i love this card i know it's sagging a little bit i'm sorry i've been trying to figure out the best way to fix it but i love this card to death it is a workhorse it does nvidia surround very very well and for those of you that are going to criticize in the bottom I don't have the three and a half gig issue. I know people are talking about GTX 970 being a three and a half gig card. I don't have that problem. I can utilize all four gigs, no issue whatsoever. So, with that being said, that's it for uh, my build. You'll notice in the back I have um, my Evo, my Samsung Evo 212, which I didn't take the time to get the footage for. I'm very sorry. And you'll also probably notice my um, other uh, two and a half inch drive that I have. That's a laptop drive that uh, is just harvested. And that's kind of my uh, quick drive for Adobe Premiere. So um, I hope you enjoyed seeing my rig. Uh, leave comments in the bottom with questions, concerns, things you think I did wrong. And I promise not to read them. And until next time, this has been the facial hair. And I hope you have a wonderful day.